Finishing the spot. Welcome to Hitman Boxing. It's your favorite boxing channel's favorite boxing channel. Hashtag ASBC. We are the A-Side Boxing Community. Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, still negotiating. Been negotiating for a long time. This shit ain't going to get made anytime soon. I don't know why. But, you know, if you're a Wilder fan, you're going to say Anthony Joshua ducking. If you're Anthony Joshua fan, you're going to say Deontay Wilder ducking. You're going to say Deontay Wilder broke too. But hey, it is what it is, man. We're here to talk about the news, right? Now, yesterday, Anthony Joshua, he said something crazy. Oh, let me get into the to the quote here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This is Anthony Joshua's quote. I ain't got nothing to lose, and I'm going to rain down hell on him. I'm going to ask for my bad. You've seen it. I can go to hell and back. I enjoy it there as well. This time, I'm going to own it. Anthony Joshua's statement. Okay, so, you know, that's cool. You talking kind of crazy about Deontay Wilder. That's what's up. Uh, let's see, is this other one Deontay? Or is this... Here, let me read the other uh, quote. We're big hitters, so for sure I'm going to be throwing a lot of combination punches, and it'll be interesting. I think he'll be trying to pick punches. I'll just be coming forward and swinging a lot of combinations, just trying to catch him and hurt him early on. Uh, Anthony Joshua's statement. So, that's... Those are two statements made by Anthony Joshua, either yesterday or a couple days ago. Uh, I'm not sure who interviewed him or what outlet this is from, but he was talking about Deontay Wilder and their potential fight. I mean, clearly the fight's going to get made. It's just a matter of when, you know. But from what I'm hearing, uh, Deontay Wilder is supposed to be facing Dominic Brazil next, and Anthony Joshua is probably going to be fighting Alexander Povetkin next. So, uh, you know, both guys got interim bouts. Really, though, know, it's, what, what are we in, May? I mean, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We only have seven months left in the year, basically. So, unless these guys are planning on fighting in the next couple of months, I mean, I don't see this fight happening. They're going to need preparation for the fight, obviously, right? And, you know, you hear a lot of stuff in the media, Roy Jones saying that Anthony Joshua's not ready and he needs to have a couple more fights before he fights Deontay Wilder. Right now, it's fine for him to fight Deontay Wilder. What I've noticed about Anthony Joshua is that, you know, in every fight, he's seemingly gotten better. Uh, you know, if, if Deontay Wilder, I would love to see De Deontay Wilder come out like he did against um, Bermain Stavern in that second fight. That shit was cold. I like shit like that. I like watching people get hurt on TV. That's what I like to see. But this will be an interesting fight between the two, man. You know, either Wilder's going to spark him out early or I don't know, man, like, if I were to pick, it's it's hard to pick, man. Um, I don't know if, if Joshua comes forward early like that. He don't move his head though, man. It's it's hard to even. I don't know. We we got we got to break the fight down at some point. Once it gets made, we'll break it down. But there's just so many like possibilities for this fight, you know. Uh, I'm looking forward to it though, you know. Now Deontay Wilder, he did respond to Anthony Joshua's statement. Uh, about going to hell and back and blah, 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 all this, right? So let's get into Deontay Wilder's statement. You see people talk that good talk, but are not prepared to walk through the valley of the shadow of death to come and get it. He said once, he said he once went to hell and back and he enjoyed it. Either the devil wasn't there or he's lying. So you can go to hell and back and enjoy it, but can't come and get this money in that bag to store it. Deontay Wilder's statement. So, you know, obviously they're, they're both negotiating, right? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what the, the deals of this contract are, the $50 million, you know. I don't know. But it's looking like the fight's probably going to take place in the UK. I mean, Wilder's already is on record saying that he would go to the UK to fight. If you're a world champion, that's what you do, right? You go where the money's at. I mean, like, like Roy Jones said, man, do you want to fight in front of 90,000 fans or 5,000 fans? It's very simple. It's very simple. You take, you go up to Cardiff or wherever the wherever you know stadium they got over in the UK. You get that money. Well, you could probably they probably would stand to make more money in the, in in Vegas, right? Because of the ticket prices. But you know, in terms of atmosphere, the UK is where it's at in terms of boxing. Man, and you go where I mean, you know, honestly, Deontay Wilder is he's not the he's not the big name in this situation, man. It's it's Anthony Joshua, dude. But 
you know, people will swear up and down that it's the other way around. I, I don't get it. It's it's very simple, man. Just because you like a fighter don't mean you got to make up shit, you know. Uh, Anthony Joshua is the more popular fighter. So, and, you know, we could say both, neither one of these guys is popular in the U.S. really. But I mean, maybe it remains to be seen. I don't know. Maybe Anthony Joshua will fight. Well, he's probably, yeah, he's definitely fighting Pavekin and, and um, Russia if that fight gets made. And, you know, Wilder will run through Brazil. So, you know, really the tougher fight is for Joshua. And, damn, they're really going to make that fight after this. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about everything I'm saying. But the fight's imminent, man. The fight's going to get made. They're, they're kind of dragging, ironing out these details. So the only people who are going to benefit from this is us anyway, right? And you're probably like, oh, hey, man, why aren't you talking reckless? I don't feel like talking shit right now. But you know what? I will later. And don't be upset. Because I will be dropping a video after this. I will be dropping a Deontay Wilder uh, slash LDBC apology video. I, I feel I need to apologize to, to both parties. So I'll be dropping that video soon. Um, again, I'm looking forward to Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua mixing it up just so we can get, so, so we can find out who the, who the baddest man on the planet is, man. You know, you've got a guy who's going around collecting belts, unifying titles, and you got a guy and Deontay Wilder, who's basically just been beating whoever, they, whoever they've been putting in front of him, right? So, it is what it is. Man, I, this is a good video, man. I didn't, I didn't say one bad thing about Deontay Wilder this video. You gotta love it, man. Hitman Boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe, hashtag ASBC, and we're out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Not exactly where I thought I'd be. Honestly, a nine to five never was in my dreams. I've been feeling all alone lately. Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby. When I came up out the womb, everybody knew it was something special about me that fills a room. I never understood it, but my OG told me it's a blessing. I should use it to the fullest. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues. Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room. And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms. I'm in the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream. Leading to endless roads. I want to be free from the army of clouds. I dream about a month ago while I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house. That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go. So I booked it. Couple friends took it personal. Like, why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro. It was unintentional. Conversations with myself. I need a hospital. I think I've gone bipolar. Half of me is conservative and the other stoner. I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl. The temp is negative 18, yeah, that's a cold world. Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station. Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes. Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back. Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track. In the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I want to be free from this army of clouds